those writing tasks that we really need to focus, what to write in them, how to write them properly and how to score full marks. This is what we are going to discuss in this week. We all know that we have got our revised curriculum for CBSE board examination. If I talk about English paper, English as a subject, we really need to look for the various sections of our paper, whether it's literature, grammar, writing tasks, or the reading section. In view of COVID situation, many chapters have been deleted, many writing tasks have been taken, many grammar portions are being excluded from your syllabus. We are going to focus on only on those writing tasks that are going to come for your examination. How to score good marks in those writing tasks? So, I will be discussing with you those important writing tasks that are going to come up in your examination and how to prepare smartly for those. A very important and a very easy writing task is diary entry. Diary entry in your examination is going to be for 5 marks and definitely without much labor you will be able to score those 5 marks if you are able to listen to this video carefully. What is diary entry? Diary entry. So you are entering something in the diary. Yes, that's what the word says. Diary entry. But is it a formal writing? We all know. No. It is an informal writing task. Yes, diary entry comes out to be a personal writing task. As diary entry is a personal record or is a personal record entry of any person. But how informal can we be with this writing task? This is what we need to remember here. This question, as I told you, is going to be for 5 marks. And for 5 marks, the most important thing is the format of diary entry, which is going to be very easy to understand and to remember. By watching this video, you will be able to find that it has such a simple format that you can remember within no time. But with that, you have to remember few points. Yes, few points to remember that will help you to score full marks in diary entry. So, let's see. What is the format of diary entry? I am going to give you the format of diary entry. The most important thing you need to remember here is diary, whenever we write a diary entry, we know that we are going to write it for the examination. Yes, when we write for the examination, we really need to follow a specific format for it. So, let's see what's the format of diary. Whenever you attempt your diary entry, it's very important. The first thing that you write is diary entry. D-I-A-R-Y entry. Diary entry and you have to underline it. It's very important. After writing diary entry on top, you have to underline it and make sure that it is written in capital letter. The most important thing that I need to tell you is most of the students commit the very common error of writing the wrong spelling of diary as D-A-I-R-Y. Yes, this we need to remember. Never write diary entry. It should be diary entry. So friends, you really need to focus on the spelling of diary entry. After writing diary entry and focusing on the spelling of the diary, if the next thing that we need to write is leave a line and after leaving a line, you are going to write day and then date. It's very important. You are going to write the day, comma, date and in the same line itself, in the right hand corner, you are going to write the time. So, diary entry, then we are going to in the right, we are going to leave a line and in the next line itself, we are going to write day, comma, date and the time. After that, you are going to write dear diary. As you are going to address to your diary, you are talking to your diary, you will write Dear diary. Again, here also you have to focus on the spelling of diary. Dear diary, comma, then you here it will come your body of diary. After writing dear diary, then you have to start your body of diary or whatever is going to be the content of your diary. 
This, what should be the content of the diary, I'll be discussing later. First, let us focus on the format of it, right? Then, you will simply end with your name. That's it. And then finally, you're going to write your name. So, this is the format of diary entry. On top, you're going to write diary entry in bold and capital. Then, you're going to write day, comma, date. And in the same line itself, to the right end, you're going to write the time. Then, you will write dear diary. Again, by leaving a line, you will write dear diary. Make sure dear D is capital and diaries D is capital because here is a name of diary. So that's why we are using diary. Here you can even use a name for your diary like dear kitty, right? Like Anne Frank used for her diary, dear kitty. You can even give your name. You can even give name to your diary, but it's always preferable that when you write for your examination, you write dear diary without creating much confusion. Then we start the body of diary and we will end with your name. Now let's see how to write day, date, time and the name because this is the most important part. As I told you, the format definitely scores marks. So when you are writing day, it's very important to focus on this part because many children tend to make mistakes here. Now day when you write, you have to write like for example, Wednesday, Wednesday, comma, and date. Date we always have to remember in all the writing tasks, whichever writing tasks you are going to write, you have to write in the format of date, month and the year and that has to be in full. You cannot use any slash, dot or hyphen, nothing like that. You have to write, for example, if, if today's date is 14th May 2020. So how are we going to write it? Let's see. We are going to write 14th May 2020. If it would have been 25 December 2020, then you have to write 25th December 2020. You cannot write DEC or 12, nothing like that is strong. You have to write this 25th December 2020. So the date is going to be in this format and then comes the time. Now let's see how to write the time. If you have to write the time, you have to mention the time with a.m. or p.m. For example, you can write 9.30 p.m. This is how you have to write. Or if you want to write 6 a.m., maybe early in the morning you are writing the time. So whatever you are writing, you have to mention the time as well as with p.m. or a.m. So this is going to be the format of time. But the most important thing we need to remember in the diary entry is the day, date and after that we are going to write dear diary. Then dear diary is going to be common for all the diary entries. Dear diary then starts the body of diary. Now when we come to the body of diary, it's very important that the body of diary can be in one paragraph, one single paragraph. Or you can divide it into simple two to two, two lines, three paragraphs, you can go, but not beyond that. Your word limit is going to be 100 to 120 words. It's very important to stick to the words that you're going to write for your diary entry. Then we will write the name. Name, you have to be very careful. You will never write your own name. You have to write the name given in the question. For example, if it's written, you are Kitty and you're going to write a diary. So you will write simply here, Kitty. That's it. But if the name is not given, you can simply write X, Y, Z or A, B, C. So if the name is not given in the question, you can write either X, Y, Z or A, B, C. This is how you have to write your diary entry.